Hi, we've been here in Virginia Beach for uh, this time 23 years, and uh, probably our favorite pastime is going out for dinner. Um, very different kinds of places. Um, some of our favorites are Steinhibler's over in Thalia. Uh, then down at the Vibe District, uh, you've got Esoteric and a couple of other restaurants down there. We like Town Center, uh, Cantina Laredo. Love going over to uh, Cape Charles. We'll actually drive over just for lunch at the Oyster Farm and uh, make a visit to our uh, Cape Charles Brewery uh, before coming home. They'll load up on a few beers before we come back. When we finally decided to uh, build a kitchen, we had actually planned on going on a cruise. The pandemic interrupted that. I asked my wife, hey, how about building out uh, a kitchen? And she said, sure. So I contacted three or four different uh, builders. They all came out and gave me quotes and told me what they could do. Um, solid structures by far I thought was the easiest to work with and was able to give me exactly what I wanted. Um, weren't the cheapest, weren't the most expensive, uh, right in the middle, but boy, I'll tell you, they were so easy to work with. I had an idea of what I wanted. Um, I wanted a, a large grill. Uh, I wanted a, a grill top for doing um, vegetables. Uh, I wanted a refrigerator um, and I wanted storage. And Ryan, the project manager, came out and worked with me, told, you know, showed me a lot of different things, brought me down to solid structures, showed me uh, the exact type of uh, equipment that they could provide, uh, helped me basically come up with an idea of a design and um, settled on that with, uh, with Ryan's help. The construction process was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Lucky was the foreman out here on the job. So easy to work with, such a nice guy. And I can't tell you how painstakingly he put together that uh, rock wall that uh, supports the granite and supports the, uh, uh, the, the, the grill and the other features we have there. Just a fantastic job. Just had probably 20 people here for Memorial Day cookout. Uh, friends, um, family, um, they just love the place. And we have a couple, we actually um, sold structures put a couple of heaters on our pergola as well so we're out here 10 11 months out of the year um, uh, cooking out uh, watching the outdoor TV watching sports uh, we'll be out here tonight watching the basketball game if I had any if I had to make a recommendation to anybody about any a similar project I would definitely uh, put solid structures my number one uh, recommendation what my favorite recipe not necessarily my wife's but my favorite net recipe out here is uh, cooking steaks uh, indirect heat uh, with a reverse sear let's cook some steaks what I like to do is uh, indirect heat. I've got a couple of beautiful uh, steaks here from the uh, village butcher. And I like, I would, what's so nice about a big grill like this, I can put both heaters, both grills over here on full blast, put the steaks on this end so that they're being cooked in direct heat. And at the very end, I'll move them over to the hot side to put the sear on them. Makes them real tender, keeps them real juicy, and um, I've got the Montreal seasoning on mine. My wife doesn't like the Montreal, so um, I do one without. I probably might flip them halfway through, but probably a good 20 minutes, and then I'll put a, a meat thermometer in them, and then um, and when it's, it's, I feel it's right, I'll move them over to the uh, the really hot side of the grill, which will probably be about 500 degrees, uh, to get a nice uh, even sear on them. It's time to check the steaks. Everyone's going to give them a good look. See, flip them over. Cook them evenly as I can. The temp on the grill has been running about 600 degrees, I think. Yeah, about, well, between six and 700. And we'll put it, give it another 10 minutes or so on that before I move it over to the, uh, put the reverse sear on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move them over to the, the hot grill side. You can hear that sizzling. And we'll put in about Two, two minutes aside, I'd say, uh, to give them a good sear, and then uh, we'll be ready to eat. The one nice thing about a reverse sear is, while you're cooking initially, you never get any flare-ups because you're not on direct, mm -hmm. you're not on direct fly, fire. Just put that down, we just shut this for a minute.